destructive and non-destructive testing. Through this lesson, you will be able to understand various types of destructive and non-destructive testing. Also, we will discuss the comparison between them with various examples. Before we discuss non-destructive testing and destructive testing, let us summarize why we need to test a material before we using it for a purpose. Material testing is to determine service life and to detect design weakness that may not show up under normal working conditions. Data collected through these tests is highly important to take vital decisions in various stages of product manufacturing. Material testing also plays a large role in failure analysis investigation to help and identify defective parts. Material testing can be broadly classified into two destructive testing and non-destructive testing. As the name indicate, destructive testing will change the dimension or physical and structural integrity of specimen in order to identify its capabilities. But in case of non-destructive testing, measurement will not affect the specimen or it will not make any changes over the physical or chemical properties of the material. Now let us discuss the peculiarities of destructive testing. Destructive testing is undertaken in order to understand a specimen's performance or material behavior. These procedures are carried out to the specimen's failure. Destructive testing procedures can either follow specific standard or can be tailored to reproduce preset service condition. It also destroys or changes the part in some way or other such that even if it is passes the test, it is no longer fit for the service. Hence, this kind of test is not economical for relatively small scale manufacturing. However, destructive testing is recommended for mass production. Now let us discuss some examples of destructive testing. Tensile and compression tests are most commonly used destructive testing method in industry. The evaluation of mechanical behavior of sample under conditions of tension and compression can be performed to provide basic material property data that is critical for component design and service performance assessment. Testing can be performed on a mechanical material sample or a full-sized or scaled models of actual components. These tests are typically performed using a universal mechanical testing instrument. A tensile test is a method for determining behavior of material under axial tensile loading, while a compression test is a method for determining the behavior of material under compressive loading. Most of the time, we can use universal testing machine to perform both compressive and tensile tests. Hardness test is another kind of destructive test that we usually perform to evaluate a material property such as strength, ductility, wear resistance and also help us to determine whether a material or material treatment is suitable for the purpose we required. There is many methods are available in industry but the popular methods are Brunel hardness test, Rockwell hardness test and Wicker's hardness test. In general, different materials differ in hardness. For example, hard metals such as titanium, beryllium are harder than soft metals such as sodium and metallic tin or wood and common plastic. These instruments help engineers to choose a material based on its hardness. Pendulum impact tests are carried out to identify materials' ability to resist impact force. Or other words, it will give an idea about toughness of material. Toughness or resistance of a material to tearing is related to energy absorbed by the part during the fracture. Charpie impact test, one of the popular method in industry to measure toughness of material. Similarly, we can use isod impact test for same purpose. In these methods, the pendulum is released and specimen is broken within a fraction of seconds due to high impact from swaying pendulum. Hence, the name destructive testing. Now let us discuss non-destructive testing. 
non destructive testing or ndt is the process of inspecting testing or evaluating materials components or assemblies for discontinuities or differences in characteristic without destroying the serviceability of the part or the system in other words when the inspection or test is completed the part can still be used the most commonly ntt techniques are eddy current method magnetic particle test liquid penetrate method radiographic technique and ultrasonic testing there is many other examples are out there but in this lesson we will focus the popular ones eddy current test is based on the physics phenomenon of electromagnetic induction in an eddy current probe an alternating current flows through the wire coil and generates an oscillating magnetic field if probe and its magnetic field are brought close to conductive material like a metal test piece a circular flow of electrons known as eddy current will begin to move through the metal like swirling water in a stream that eddy current flowing through the metal will in turn generate its own magnetic field which will interact with the coil and its field through mutual inductance changes in metal thickness or defects like near surface cracking will interrupt or alter the amplitude and pattern of eddy current and resulting magnetic field this in turn affect the movement of electrons in coil by varying electromagnetic impedance of coil the eddy current instrument plots changes in the impedance amplitude and phase angle which can be used by a trained operator to identify changes in the test piece magnetic particle testing is a non destructive inspection method that provides detection of linear flows located at or near the surface of ferromagnetic materials it is viewed primarily as a surface examination method magnetic particle inspection is very effective methods for locating surface breaking slight subsurface defects such as cracking porous cold lap lack of side wall fusion in weld this testing is limited to magnetic material materials such as wood or plastic will not react with this device liquid penetrate testing liquid penetrate testing is one of the oldest and simplest ndt method where it is earliest version dates back to 19th century this method is used to reveal surface discontinuities by bleed out a colored fluorescent dye from the flow the technique is based on the ability of a liquid to be drawn into a clean surface discontinuity by capillary action after a period of time called dwell time excess surface penetrant is removed and developer applied this act as a blotter that draws the penetrant from the discontinuity to reveal its presence so by using this technique we can easily find out minute cracks on the surface radiographic testing is a non destructive testing method which is uses either x rays or gamma rays to examine internal structure of manufactured components and identify any flaws or defects in radiography testing the test part is placed between the radiation source and film the material density and thickness differences of test part will influence the penetration radiation through interaction process involving scattering and absorption the differences in absorptions are then recorded on film or through an electronic means ultrasonic testing is yet another technique in ndt which uses a piezoelectric transducer connected to flow detector which in its most basic form is a pulsar receiver and oscilloscope display the transducer is passed over the object being inspected which is typically coupled to test object by a gel or oil or maybe sometimes we could use the water as well the signal received from transducer can be analyzed with the help of a computer interface as a non destructive testing method ultrasonic testing is ideal for detecting flaws and defects without damaging object or material being tested periodic ultrasonic inspection can be used to check for corrosion 
for growth of known flows and thus potentially prevent the failure of part. It is used in a wide range of industries including aerospace, automotive, construction, medical, metallurgy and manufacturing. Now let us discuss the difference between destructive testing and non-destructive testing based on few parameters. If you take the purpose of these kind of testing, the destructive testing carried out to find the properties and behavior of specimen under different loading conditions. At the same time, non-destructive testing is used to find properties of a material and to find out its defects. Here, the more focus is on finding the defects of that material rather its ability to carry loads. If we think about the specimen that we use for this kind of testing, whenever we carried out destructive testing, the specimen will damage and hence the name destructive testing. But at the same time, the non-destructive testing or NDT will never damage the specimen. Hence, it is very useful for small scale manufacturing and goes to the third parameter defects. And we know that defects cannot be found using destructive testing because it's only give you the idea about how much load it will carry or how much force it can withstand. At the same time, NDT will help you to identify minute microstructural defects in the material. And the cost involvement for these two types of testing, since it is destroying the material, it is obvious the destructive testing is more costly and the equipment for the testing requires a high initial investment as well. But in case of non-destructive testing, the cost is comparatively less because we can reuse the test specimen. These are some more examples of destructive and non-destructive testing. The tests such as bending test, tensile test, compression testing and impact testing are destructive while ultrasonic testing, liquid dye penetrate method, eddy current testings are belongs to non-destructive testing.